need a voice Hold up, hold up, we making noise Hold up, we the boys now I LeBron was to decide to leave Miami, and if he were to decide to go to Cleveland, it would be one of the greatest stories you've ever seen in terms of him going back home yep. and bringing a championship. Back on top once again. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. What is good y'all man with another video and this is the legacy mode or we're the legacy episode one featuring LeBron James. This is where I control the rest of LeBron James career and make sure he have one of the best careers that ever happened. I, I honestly want him to have the best career. So I want him to have the better career over Jordan and Kobe combined winning multiple championships with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I feel like he can do it, especially with this team right here. This team is really beast right here. We don't have, I mean, we got Kyrie at the one. We got um, Danny Granger at the two. We got LeBron at the three, of course. And then you got Fareed at the four. Then you got Joakim Noah at the five. That is a good team for LeBron James. I feel, I feel like I built this team right around LeBron James. And of course, I was not going to give away a Kyrie Irving. So you know we had to keep him, man. I feel like this team has potential, and I did not want LeBron James to go back to um, freaking Miami Heat, cause I feel like I mean, well, not back to Miami, cause I feel like he wouldn't want to any rings with the Miami Heat, like for real. Like, Dwayne Wade just is ass on this game. But uh, let's get let's let me, let me get away from the commentary real quick. But in real life, how do y'all feel about LeBron James right now? Like in real life, my opinion. I don't know. I don't really know how I should feel about him right now. I will have a, I will have a legit opinion about how I feel about LeBron when he decides on what team he want to go to. As you see, I'm on a fast break. Look at that paint wide open, slamming that mob down. That's what LeBron James do. We here to we here to win championships, like I said. But let's get back to what I think about LeBron. LeBron, if he goes to Houston, I will lo no longer have a respect for LeBron. He will he will still be one of my favorite top. I say top five, top ten Absolutely players, but insane. I won't have no respect to him because no great player wishy-washes and want this and want that and freaking go to multiple te multiple multiple teams. Like if you want to go to a new team, do like Jordan did, wait to the end of your career or something like that, or even do what Kobe do and stay one team. Like I can I can get the the Cleveland situation, but leaving the Heat, bro, come on, man, it's, it's a point to where like. It, it started it start to feel like he's getting ring hungry. Like, he'd do anything for a ring. Like, this man will go sell his ass on the corner for a ring. No home on him. Like, that's, that's, that's how I feel about LeBron right now. Because he's just really hopping all around the place. And I don't know what Melo's situation is. But this isn't about Melo. As we've seen that, we had a nice first half right there. But we're going to skip this. And I will catch y'all after this halftime report. And we will get into the commentary. Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got a rivalry battle on our hands today. Back in the second half, you see LeBron James brings the ball up the court, 6:33, and it's 38 to 34. We have a good lead. Look at that bounce pass to Fareed, and he gonna slam it down. And make sure y'all hit the like button on this video if you want to see another Legacy episode two. Let's get around 400 likes. As soon as we get 400 likes on this video, then I will release another Legacy mode or a Legacy video, whatever you want to call it. But you see, Kyrie, Ver Kyrie, Kyrie Irving got the ball. He gonna lob it up to LeBron James. That, man, that's that connection. I really think in real life they will have an outstanding connection because LeBron James is no ball hog. Kyrie Irving, he's not really the point guard. He's like a short shooting guard. That's what I really see him as. But 
I, I feel like in real life this they will have a nice connection. But look at LeBron, look at LeBron James block Dwayne Wade, and you know I have to bring y'all this gameplay because he had I have to show y'all him going against his old team. And you see, I pull up on the jumper, knocking that down, man, making it 50 to 43. That's how we supposed to do it, man. I want to have take I want to have a patient offense and a nice defense. That's what I really live off of is defense, man. That's how we supposed to do it. Look at Dwayne Wade trying to take LeBron James to the paint, but you know LeBron got that lockdown in defense. And you should look at Danny Granger throw, throwing up retarded shots, bro. We're going to look at LeBron James with the 40-inch vertical or 30-inch vertical at the beginning. But I, like, I like playing with LeBron James on this game, like, legit. Like, I mean, not more than Derrick Rose. Like, I probably, it goes by my players, then it goes Derrick Rose, then it goes LeBron James. LeBron James is so much fun to play with because he can shoot the jumper now. And he can dunk on anybody and everybody. But look at me. I'm looking at this. Throwing up. Throwing up shots right over this man. Dwayne Wade. Like, uh, it's over for you, Dwayne Wade. Go ahead. I mean, obviously, I have a lot of respect for Dwayne Wade. Because Dwayne Wade, even though he had LeBron James and Chris Bosh, supposedly all-star. But he's not. He's not to me, to me, fucking Bosh is the role player. That's what I see him as. But um, even though he had LeBron James and all them people, they came to him, bro. That's why I respect Wade so much. He never left his team. He's loyal to his team. So that's why I really respect Wade. I hope he goes back to Miami. I don't want him to leave Miami because he's been on Miami so long. So hopefully he stays with that team. But you see LeBron James snags down that rebound. Look at Kyrie wide open in the corner. Feed him. He going to pull up. And he can't knock the shot. We really need to work on Kyrie Irving. But you see, I almost called this man Kareem, my dude. But this man... Kenneth Reed get the rebound and look at Kyrie calling for the ball. But I'm doing this a quick isolation. Get out the way. Look at that. That was a horrible pass. I don't know why I passed. I should have just went up with the layup. But I'm wide open at the three. Pull up. Let's go. That is clutch. And you see it's 41 seconds left in the game. We are up. 77-71. But now it's 77-74. 23 seconds left in the quarter. Look at Danny Green just wide open. I was really sleeping right here. I don't know why I left this man wide open as he pull up and knock down the shot. What was I thinking leaving this man wide open? I need to be slapped. Now we're going to speed it up right now. You see it's 12 seconds left, 10 seconds left, down to 9. Got Chris Bosh on me. This is what, this was the most retarded move that they ever did. Putting Chris Bosh on LeBron James. Hit him with the behind the back. Always to the paint. Over two defenders. Oh, we get it to go, man. That's this is, Man, come on, man. Put it in the books. This is going to be the greatest story ever told. I'm telling you this now. But like, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. New My Career video is coming to, going to come out tomorrow. I might stream to later today, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Now we'll check y'all out later. Make sure you like, like I said, and I will catch y'all later. Peace. Your dogs fall short, man. Them niggas ain't my niggas.